having difficulties answering calculus problems? Are you in need of a hand solving those tricky numbers that makes your mind explode? Well, say no more, you're in the right video. So sit back, relax, and listen carefully. And I assure you that you'll learn a thing or two by the end of this video. So what is partial fraction decomposition? Well, it is an algebraic technique when we, where we break down complex fractions into parts. And as you all know, there are different kinds of functions. These are linear, repeated linear, quadratic, and repeated quadratic. So these are the functions with their examples. Take note that x squared is not a quadratic equation, but it is considered as a repeated linear function. So now that we know how to classify these different functions, I'm going to show you the formula on how to integrate them by using partial fraction decompositions. So let's now try integrating with an example. So here we're given 5 the integral of x plus 5 over x squared plus x minus 2 dx. So here our denominator can be factored out. So let's try the integral of x plus 5 over the factor of this will become x plus 2 times x minus 1 dx. And now since our equation has become a linear function, we could apply the formula earlier in this video. So this will become, or this will be equal to constant a over 2x plus 2 plus constant b over x minus 1. I multiply both sides by this term. So we multiply x plus 2 times x, plus, x minus 1 to both sides. So in this term, this will just cancel out leaving us with x plus 5 is equal to, in this case, this term divided by x plus 2 will be x minus 1, leave us x minus 1 times a, will give us a times x minus 1, plus this term divided by x minus 1 will leave us to x plus, x plus 2, times b will give us b times x plus 2. So now we have this equation and our goal here is now to find the value of constant A and constant B and we'll try to do it by letting X be the value that one constant could, could be cancelled out to zero. So in this case, we'll try to cancel out A to zero. So X here will be one so that this term will cancel out to zero. So let X be one. So substituting. 1 plus 5 is equal to a times 1 minus 1, this will become 0, plus b times 1 plus 2, simplifying 6 is equal to uh, 3b. So the value of b divided by, divide both sides by 3. So the value of our b term or our b constant is equal to 2. So now let's try to cancel out b so, we, so that we can find the value of our constant a. So let x be negative 2 so that our b here will just cancel out into 0. So substitute negative 2 plus 5 is equal to a times negative 2 minus 1 plus b times negative 2 plus 2 this term will cancel out to 0 so simplifying so a here will be a times negative 3 or this will become negative 3a so divide both sides by negative 3 or a here will be negative 1 so now since we have uh, the values of constant b and constant a, we now uh, apply it to the original equation and we substitute it. So, uh, a, so the integral of x plus 5 over x squared plus x minus 2 dx is equal to the integral of 
instead of V, we substitute the value of negative 1, negative 1 over x plus 2 plus, oh sorry, dx plus the integral of uh, the value of our V is 2, so integral of 2 over x minus 1 dx. So now we so now our equation is, is now divided into two simple parts. So we must first integrate this part. So we factor out negative. So this will become negative integral of uh, 1 over x plus 2 dx. And same here, constant multiple rule. Uh, we zone out 2, so leaving us with 2 integral of 1 over x minus 1 dx. And now since our equation is now both uh, in logarithmic function, so we apply the so we apply the rule. So simplifying negative ln of x plus 2 plus 2 ln of x minus 1 plus constant c. So for our problem number 2, we're asked to find the integral of 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 over 4x cubed minus x dx. So the overview of our equation, you can see that it's, it's complicated. And our goal here is to divide the equation into several parts. So we could integrate it much easier. So we could try adding negative x minus 2x squared minus 1 plus x plus 2x squared plus 1. Since we're adding negative x minus 2x squared minus 1 plus x plus 2x squared plus 1, we're not altering the entire equation since we're adding just the value of Zero. But simplifying integral of 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 minus x minus 2x squared minus 1 plus x plus 2x squared plus 1 all over 4x cubed minus x dx. Now looking at our new equation, as you can see, we can cancel out in our equation 2x squared negative, positive 1 and negative 1 then simplifying integral of 4x cubed minus x plus x plus 2x squared plus 1 over 4x cubed minus x You can see that we can cancel out 4x cubed minus x and our denominator, 4x cubed minus x. So we divide it into two parts. So 4x cubed minus x over 4x cubed minus x. Plus this part, x plus 2x squared plus 1 over 4x cubed minus x. So, so, so this part will just cancel out to 1. So, the integral of 1 dx plus the, uh, this equation dx. So, the integral of 1 dx will just be x. So, our remaining part to be integrated will be just this part. So, we'll, we'll find the integral of x plus 2x squared plus 1 over 4x cubed minus x dx. So as you can see, the remainder of this part of the equation is 4x cubed minus x is, is factorable, so we will factor out x since x is common to both 4x cubed and minus x. So, the integral of x plus 2x squared plus 1 over factor x times 4x squared 
And now we're left with x times the quantity of 4x squared minus 1. And we know that 4x squared minus 1 uh, can be also factored out. So, leaving us with x plus 2x squared plus 1 over x. The factor of 4x squared minus 1 will be equal to 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 dx. Our equation is now a linear function. So now we will apply the formula earlier in the video where the formula of a linear function is equal to constant A over x plus constant B over 2x minus 2x plus 1 plus constant C over 2x minus 1. So if we try to multiply both sides of the equation like this, we we'll cancel out this part, the left side of our equation. So multiplying both sides by x times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. So this part will cancel out. And in this side, since we we're, since we're multiplying fractions, this part divided by x times a will give us a times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. And since we know that 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 is a factor of 4x squared minus 1, we will substitute the value of this into a. So a times 4x squared minus 1. Thus, uh, this equation divided by 2x plus 1 times b will give us bx times 2x minus 1. Thus, this equation divided by 2x minus 1 times c will give us cx times 2x plus 1. Then, copy x plus 2x squared plus 1. And now we distribute a, b, and c to the equation. So x plus 2x squared plus 1 is equal to distribute 4 ax squared minus a plus bx times 2x bx squared minus bx and lastly cx times 2x will give us 2cx squared plus cx so looking in our equation we're left with a, b, and c so we must find the value of each constant by grouping all terms all x squared terms and all x terms and then all the constant terms. Let's now write all the x squared terms starting from the left side of our equation. So on the left side, our x squared terms is only 2. So we write 2 is equal to, and on the right side of the equation, all the x squared terms are 4, 4a, 2b, and 2c. So we write 4a plus 2b plus 2c. And in the x terms, the x terms of the left side is, is x, leaving us with 1 is equal to all the x terms in the right side of the equation, dx or negative dx or negative d plus c. And lastly, all the constant terms of the equation, starting from the left side, is only 1, so we write 1 equal to the right side our constant term is just negative a so we write 1 is equal to negative a equating this part leaving us with a to be equal to negative 1 and then since we have the value of a we can substitute it into our first equation so 
So 2 is equal to 4 times negative 1 plus 2b plus 2c. Uh, 2 is equal to negative 4 plus 2b plus 2c. So we can try to equate uh, c in terms of b. So, so simplifying 2c is equal to 4, 6 minus 2b. So divide both sides by 2. This will cancel out. And this will cancel out. Giving us with c is equal to 3 minus b. Then since you know that uh, c is equal to 3 minus b, we can substitute it into our second equation. 1 is equal to negative b plus instead of c, we will put this 3 minus b. 1 is equal to simplify negative 2b plus 3. So simplifying this will be 2b is equal to 2 divide both sides by 2 leaving us with b is equal to 1. Since you know that the value of 1 is so since you know that the value of b is 1, we substitute it back to letter c. So c is equal to 3 minus 1, leaving us with the value of c is equal to 2. Now since we have uh, found the values for constant c, constant b, and constant a, we substitute it back into the original formula. So let's now try to substitute it back. Our, our original equation is integral of x plus 2x squared plus 1 all over x times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 is equal to Instead of a, we now substitute the value of negative 1. So we have negative 1 over x. Sorry, integral of negative 1 over x plus the value of b is equal to 1. 1 over 2x plus 1 plus the value of c is positive 2. 2 over 2x. Now we have this equation. So let's now apply the sum rule. So the integral of negative 1 over x dx plus integral of 1 over 2x plus 1 dx plus 2 over integral of 2 over 2x minus 1 dx. So since this equation is in the form of uh, logarithmic function so we now apply the proof so this will be a negative 1 so, so this will be negative ln times the absolute value of x plus so in this part the second part uh, we could use u substitution so let u is equal to 2x plus 1 so our d will be 2 dx. Then our dx will be du over 2. So substituting, so this will become 1 over 1 over u times instead of dx, du over 2. So since there is since there is a 2, so we can place it outside the integral. So 1 half integral of 1 over your u is equal to 2x plus your 2x plus 1 du. So integrating this part is also a logarithmic function. So we apply the rule 1 half ln times the absolute value of 2x plus 1 
And in the last part, you can also use new substitution to get the integral of this part. So we let u is equal to 2x minus 1, our d will become 2dx, our dx will be du over 2, substituting 2 over u, dx is du over 2, the 2 will cancel out, leaving us with 1 over u, du, and this part is also a logarithmic function, so we apply the rule. 1 So this equation will just substitute back 1 over 2x minus 1 u. So the integral of this function is also the same as equation 1 and equation 2, which is, the, which is, which is a logarithmic function. So we'll just take the, the integral of ln times the absolute value of 2x minus 1. And since we've integrated all of the parts of our whole equation, we can now add it all up to come up to the final answer. And since beforehand, you've already integrated 1 dx, so there's an x plus negative ln times plus 1 half So that's it. I really hope you've learned a thing or two in this video. So thank you for your time watching and God bless.